What's up, everybody? My name is Malcolm. Welcome back to Pit Side, where we discuss the biggest moments and the hottest trends in world football. I hope you guys are all staying safe in this quarantine. And if you have to leave your home, please take the necessary precautions so that we can stop the spreading of this coronavirus. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. It helps the channel grow. And I'm targeting 10,000 subscribers by the end of summer. I also want to thank you guys for your love and support so far. It seems like yesterday I was at 50 subscribers, but now I'm a little bit over a thousand. And I want to thank you guys for supporting the online store. If you love football just as much as I do, then I I know you love hearing the ball hit the back of the net and it seems like we won't have to wait for much longer until we hear that noise once again in the last couple of days we've been hearing positive news with the possibility of football returning soon in this video i'll give you guys my thoughts on football returning in the next couple of months i'm not gonna keep you guys waiting for much longer so let's just dive in On Monday, La Liga put out a statement claiming that La Liga Santander and La Liga Smart Bank Clubs will return to training this week. In the statement, La Liga says, This return to training has been planned by La Liga with measures that have been agreed with the relevant sports and health authorities in order to guarantee as much safety as possible for the health of all those involved. The statement then continues with, These measures cover a period of approximately four weeks with different phases that in any case will be subject to the de-escalation process established by the government. Thus, together with a medical test carried out by club, a staggered return to training has been implemented that will start with players training alone and end with group activities prior to their return to competition scheduled for June. So if things go well, it looks like the first and second division of La Liga will return in June and hopefully we'll get to see my club, yes Real Madrid, win the first La Liga title of this decade. But that wasn't the only positive news that we received. According to reports in Italy, most Serie A sides have now scheduled players' returns to individual training, with Inter Milan, Atlanta, and Bologna expecting to reopen their training camps on Tuesday. However, all 20 sides are likely to wait until May 18th to start their first group training sessions under strict instructions from the Italian Minister of Sport, Vincenzo Spadafora. And of course, the main man, Cristiano Ronaldo, returned to Italy for training with Juventus, but will train for two weeks alone, and then hopefully with a small group later on. So, if things go well for Serie A teams, then I expect the league to return in June alongside La Liga. Now, Bundesliga players returned to training a couple weeks ago and have been training in small groups. In fact, the league was supposed to return on May 9th, but after the league carried out multiple tests in the first and second division, they found that 10 people tested positive for coronavirus and have decided to delay the return of the league. But since such a small group of players tested positive for coronavirus, I expect the Bundesliga to be back in late May or early June. Now, we haven't heard any official statements from the English Premier League, but with the Bundesliga, Serie A and La Liga planning to return, then we can expect the Premier League to return as well. So Liverpool fans do not lose hope on winning that first English Premier League title in over 30 years. And of course, the biggest club competition in the world, the Champions League is rumored to return on August 9th. Now with all this exciting news on football's possible return, there is one major concern that I do have. How will they ensure the player's safety when the sport finally returns? In my opinion, you have to consistently test the players for COVID-19 because one one week, all the players could be healthy, but let's say a player gets it midweek before a game, then the next week, every player who played in a league game could be infected with the virus. So do clubs have the necessary testing kits and funds to detect new infections within the players so that you can prevent any unnecessary spreading of the virus? Another major concern that I do have is that a lot of these games will have to be played with no fans, which will affect the players mentally. So is there any way that you can simulate the feeling of having fans within the stadium to give the players extra motivation whenever they're playing the match. And I know that's a very tough ask because the main concern right now should be the player's safety as football returns. Anyways, those are my thoughts on football's possible return. Comment below and share your opinion on whether football should return or should be canceled altogether. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. And until next time, stay safe. Peace.